All right, how about that? I'm just going with the onboard microphone. No, uh, no fancy mics for me. All right. Yeah, this mic's weird. I use this for my lessons too, and sometimes it does that during the lessons. It's fine. And then I'll just switch like one thing, and it decides it's cutting out. And I'm like. I'm like, I don't get it. It's a good microphone. And if I just use that, I don't do anything else, it's fine. But during my lessons, like I'll run a I'll run a metronome or something like that as well. And and then all of a sudden it will just decide that it's not it's not gonna see the computer. So it's kind of a kind of annoying. But that's okay. Um Yeah, so back to what I was saying. So yeah, this was a this was an ongoing campaign that we started. Um late 2019 I believe it was pre let's see when did pandemic start? pandemic started early 20 it's early 2019 late 2018 I've been well I'm trying to figure the timing on this yeah super twitchy this is a sure my sure uh, mv5 mic which is great I've used it for podcasting I used it for like I say I use it when I do online lessons because uh, it handles the loud instruments, but, uh, you know, it's also not super sensitive. March 2020 was everyone sent home. Yeah, so it was 2019. So it was the previous year, 2019, that we that we started this. And it definitely was, um, you know, it started out with just the character building and running things online. And we kind of simultaneously started the Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay campaign. So we started doing that in tandem like i would neil dalton who some of you know some of, he's a subscriber to the channel i don't know if he's making it on tonight or not but um he he runs warhammer fantasy and uh we've kind of alternated right he's run a few other random games too kind of like one-offs which were cool but we started this the first run of it was just a like a four-person play test pre-gen characters and then i had them build the characters and i had them run this and then like i said it's, so it's been been about two going on two years because i want to i want to say that it was late 2019 that we actually started this uh that looks like mave hi mave how are you what's next well what's was really next yay we made it we can see each other virtually since we haven't seen each other we haven't seen each other now since probably not too old, about the same time frame 2019 so august 2019 in norway was the last time which was pretty epic we have tickets we have we have tickets we have a hotel room for 2022 for 2022 i'm just kind of sitting here yeah yeah i know we have to do that um it, it was yeah this has been absolutely crazy the past few months the last time we tried to schedule the chat is when i had all the flooding in the house and then um and that got right into school and it's been it's been ridiculous so what's next you ask well the next step is i'm um, still getting the art together i've got my artist jeff who is an amazing artist you've seen some of his work and if you haven't seen some of his work well we'll just scroll Scroll down, and here's that it was kind of an experiment. He did some watercolor, attempted watercolor style, but the the bulk of his work looks like this. Um, and I'm getting the getting the artwork together for it, and then I'm going to be uh, setting up the whole hell. Well, I don't know how much about this I should say. Um. Yeah. All right. I'll give you. I'll give you the details on private message. But I might be having some time off and working on the game. And we're gonna find out what happens with that in the next few weeks. Uh, so I plan to intensively get the writing finished, the document finished. We're still play testing. So this is kind of, and I see people kind of come in and out. I don't know if they thought I'd be talking more in a more focused fashion about the game, uh, but they're not. That's fine. It's like chatting with people too. So what what happened is that 
we we did this play test yeah <laughs> yeah neither can i let's see what happens um all i'll say is and i don't think anybody that it matters is going to see this feed anyway but i i definitely have plans to get out of academia and it might happen in some form maybe in a beneficial form sooner rather than later so i don't know we'll see we'll see what's happening with that um but I have a lot of stuff going on that I've been working on, which has been the other thing. But yeah, we need to do our catch-up chat. Uh, I have the next couple of weeks off, and I just said to PJ, who lives up in Boston, that I might actually be getting back to the Cape over the next over the next couple of weeks. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll let everyone know if I'm going to be traveling that way. But uh, if I have the focus time to really work on the game, I can probably get the game layout document done probably within a several months in the kind of the formatted writing the book the system is still undergoing revision so we had this two-year long play test i know i've started this story several times um two-year long play test and we and it concluded last thursday night oh no i'm sorry sunday it concluded sunday and they got to kind of the end climactic scenario battle whatever thursday but we just didn't have enough time because several people had to get up for work the next day so we said you know what let's let's just start this fresh then on uh on sunday the sunday after christmas because everybody was actually free in the afternoon so we so we did that and we only had one character death in the entire time which i talked about during my last stream which is no longer available uh which was quite a quite a fun thing um and then what we we had a feedback session we've had a feedback session on email for the past couple of days and kind of really what i was most interested in talking about tonight was just my my thoughts and responses after running this solid group for two years and everybody knew it was going to be this kind of encapsulated play test um but it's always a little weird when all of a sudden all of a sudden it's done right and these characters you've lived with for quite quite some time you know they really aren't going to be played anymore at least not in this form but it was it needed to be done it needed to be this complete thought you know i didn't want this thing to be an open-ended campaign that drags on for years because the whole point was to test systems that was that was the entirety of it um i didn't i didn't really want this to be anything else so I'm going to download some photos now from my camera. So let's see if this crashes mid midstream. Uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't want you to ask me to open things. Uh, anyway. So. Um, this play test wrapped up and at the end and it's funny because I always have my students ask me well how much do these things change as you as you play test them and I'm like well as of this past week there were still unanswered rules questions you know how will a certain rule behave in a in a different applied situation you know, it was it was just funny that after this amount of time where we all thought, oh yeah, we've got this, this, this game's running perfectly, there's very little, and I know I still had things to flesh out and things to smooth out, but I didn't anticipate having entire sections of the rules that are still going to require some kind of work and some kind of revision. And um, I I don't mind that. I mean, that's what, that's what play tests are for. It was just kind of jarring to me like all right so i can get this document done and i'm still going to continue play testing i'm still going to continue my whole goal these past two years was to start taking it to conventions and i have a, this four hour scenario with these pre-generated characters that i've run both online and person before pandemic that we uh that that kind of tested the very basics of the game and and i'm gonna have to go back to another kind of encapsulated play test to iron out some of these other rules now my group has said they will run another campaign structure type game i'm really not ready to do that just yet i mean that was a huge, huge amount of work to 
even if I only ran it for two or three months, once every two months, running consistently for that amount of time, on top of doing all this other stuff, you know, forget my creative life, um, but work, you know, my time work, such as it is, and everything else ended up being this really kind of, you know, exhausting experience. And I kind of knew it would be. And that's fine. It had to be done. And I'm going to have to keep doing it. But I'm just not quite ready to jump into another large-scale campaign yet. Um, but it'll be it'll be fun when I, I get back to running and testing it. My next goal now is to write up the remainder of the documentation that I think I can work with right now. And then still continue to have some revision in terms of the rules and all this other stuff. Um, that's kind of where it's at. I think the main thing I took away from this, though, was especially with this group of really role-playing focused characters, just how invested in how much energy there is being put into this world and into these characters. And, you know, as I said to them, I said that this is even... This is even the kind of thing where their characters can kind of become this canon within this world. Um, and I think the thing that I, that I really took away from this playtest was that you had to rely on you had to rely on two things. Let's see, scheduling a group of functional adults. So. So that's the funny thing, PJ. And I'm sorry, I, my chat was closed because I my, my, wasn't closed. Was hidden because I'm just I made the mistake of plugging it in this camera and I was trying to download all these pictures and I'm trying to stop it. So the the funny thing is, PJ, for once in my life, I actually have troops of extremely functional and willing gamers, like just waiting to play games that I run. The balance to that is I'm basically the only person running, except for Neil who runs Warhammer. Um, and occasionally people will jump in and do something else. My in-person group, my regular in-person group, I generally go between D&D &D and Call of Cthulhu, and we've had a few other D&D &D games crop up. But quite sadly, they, they aren't as committed to the, to the long haul as I am. And I, and I think that's why I've started really kind of focusing my energy into getting myself as a game designer, writer, game master out there um because i'm realizing how rare it is to have a person who who is the one who is kind of willing to do it regularly and do it with level of quality and but consistently so that's been kind of my you know, this past this past year or two of and i had several people say to me oh you know you should just really start publishing this stuff you should start you know charging to run games people are paying people to run games um, I never thought of that as like a possible, you know, viable source of income, not a big income, but something I could do and actually get paid for. But I mean, there are people doing, there are people who are being, there are people who are paying to play, like in my opinion, games that are, are just, are not very organized, not very prepared, you know? And I'm like, God, I do more, I do more in one week in terms of the prep and the writing and all of this stuff than, um, some people who do who are like charging people to run games so and it's kind of kind of at that point where i'm like man did you did you really download those to that folder oh my god so so pj but i don't know if you remember yeah i remember sean jaffe oh that's cool i didn't know that yeah i've got i've you've been lazy about that i mean i've been writing stuff for years as you know <laughs> you know but um I, I just have been lazy about really putting it into form, I guess because I still considered it the hobby, quote unquote, like not a real job and not a real thing, but it is now a real thing. I mean, there's people like making bank off streaming RPGs, you know, and it's it's bizarre to me, but I'm, I'm like, okay, hey, you know, I've been, I've been training my whole life for this, right? It's like, we've been training our whole lives for this. And like I've got one buddy who is this amazing thinker. He he writes really well, but getting him to actually like say, but just get it out there, 
You know, he's so self-conscious about putting it out there. I'm like, man, your ideas are amazing. Just get them down in a format and get them out there. And I've been kind of, kind of encouraging him to do it. And I've several times said, well, if you want to help me work on some accessory materials for this game, I'm absolutely cool with it. But it's got to be like a thing. Like, it can't be like, oh, I'll do it next week. Like, if we're getting on a publication deadline, it has to be done. And that's the other thing. I think, and I've been working in project-based work now for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, I, you know, then I realized, like, well, my one stream here got, like, 50 views. And I'm like, somebody sat around and watched me babble about, about character death for 50, for a half hour? 50 views? I was like, really? Like, I, I, you know, I'm just a guy running a game. But, I mean, it, it's different, though. I think when you've been doing it as focused and as long as we have, it does become this skill that that other people tend to... You, you, you and I would take it for granted. Now, I say this to my students all the time. They might be a great artist, photographer, digital, digital artist, whatever. And they're like, yeah, I'm all right. I'm like, David, you're 18. Like, if I were focused enough to produce anything this good at 18... You know, and, and you kind of start taking it for granted. And I, I think I've been taking the gaming thing for granted, too. And it's only in the past 10, five years, really, that it's blown up to really be an industry. Thanks, Critical Role. Thanks, Stranger Things. You know, neither of which I'm particularly into. But I'm like, well, you, you know, you've made this, like, thing. You've made this an industry. So I think I've really just got to get more of this stuff out there. 